Good morning, everybody. Hi, uh, who have we got in? Harry, David, David, uh, Richard, Femi, Jeff. Nice to see you all on board, Steve. Hi there. Hi. Um, I'm going to put up my little uh, thing. Hi, Brindra. Hi. How's it all going, Harry? Good to have you back. Um, right. What I've got is um, I set up this uh, multi uh, sort of board watch, as it were. If you remember from last week, we've got a number of instruments here. This is all on the 15 minute. Uh, the reason why I'm putting this up here is just to show you. Uh, you all know how to set these uh, these workspaces up. When you when you get to Sable, when you put up a new workspace, you can make any change to any workspace. If you then want to save it as a new space, go to File, click on Workspaces, and then click Save As. And then you can call it any name you want, and it will create a new name. Let's just get rid of that drawing. In here, you've got lots and lots of workspaces all the way along here, along the top, but very, very useful. Okay, um, I'm going to look at the daily just so you can see exactly what's going on. A quick review last week. Markets didn't do very well. Um, equities down. Um, I'm going to show you bottom. Okay, now we haven't got any equity. Let's quickly change gold to FTSE. Uh, the bottom right is FTSE. Uh, despite the uh, attempt in the last three days last week to recover, um, the FTSE as well and truly cratering this morning uh, on the back of uh, all the problems in Greece, as we all know about. We're 80 points down on the FTSE. Um, other markets, obviously dollar is um, up, i.e., Cable down, top left, uh, dollar, euro, middle, uh, top, uh, euro, sterling. Well, sterling, that just demonstrates how strong sterling is. Uh, euro, yen, bottom left, uh, bottom middle is Aussie dollar. So the dollar, this is what's happening. So we've got classic sort of um, flight to safety, I guess. Equities down, gold down, crude and commodities down. If I just change the bottom right chart so let's just put gold back up again gold down gold's been a fantastic one last week we made oodles of cash trading gold yesterday uh, last week um and i think um for all you gold watchers remember we're still targeting we've gone through that 77 level what's the next target on that i think it's 44 isn't it uh 40 yeah, 42, 43, 44 area. Uh, that's where gold's heading. So uh, let's keep uh, a, a good eye on that one. Um, dollar up and bonds up. Um, bonds, let me quickly show you. Uh, can I put up the gilt? No, let's put up. Yeah, here's the UK gilt. Uh, despite the wobble last week when they announced the interest rate decision last Thursday, um, when there was no more QE, gilts came off sharply. That's this candle here, the big red candle here. I'm looking at the chart on the bottom left, uh, bottom right, by the way, everybody. So gilts higher. Why are gilts higher? Yields are coming down. Investors, especially foreign investors, are piling into sterling. They're piling into gilts. Um, and that's the reason why uh, sterling's strong, and that's the reason why gilts are strong. Um, other than that, it's all this, Greece. And I'm just wanting to flick this up. Unfortunately, this is just a problem that is not going to go away. You know, there are reports in various uh, papers, I'm flicking to them, fears of grows of Greece leaving the euro. Even the ECB has started talking about it. Uh, the, but uh, I, th I gather that um, the Bundesbank, this is the German um, central bank, said that the, the consequences of Greece uh, exiting the euro would be more serious than for the rest of the eurozone. Um, uh, and, and, but, but there's a lot of news about this. It looks like they failed to uh, uh, create or, or establish a coalition, uh, and it looks like uh, Greece is going to have to go back to the polls, hence the reason for the volatility in the markets this morning and the, and the, and the uh, continued weakness in the euro uh, and undermining stocks, as I've just said, uh, with the FTSE down, what, sort of 80 points. So um, bad news across the board. Another interesting article that uh, popped up, Merkel's, uh, Germany's uh, Merkel, that's Angela Merkel, the um, president of Germany, suffered, uh, or Chancellor of Germany, suffered losses in the state election. It's quite interesting because this is just a continuation of things that are happening in Spain, in Greece, in, in the UK partly, uh, and in um, 
now in Germany, a sort of rejection of austerity. Um, you can see here in this particular report here that uh, Angela Merkel's uh, Christian Democrats saw their support drop from 20, uh, to 26.3 from 35% in 2010. So another sign that, um, you know, uh, the Eurozone is wanting a, a different solution or, a, or, a, or an amendment to the current solution to uh, austerity, uh, perhaps with a, um, some policy design to, to grow economies as well. Anyway, I think the likelihood of Greece leaving the Eurozone, I think it's 50-50 now, uh, but the consequences are quite dire, really, and it's just a question of, um, uh, you know, how long these negotiations take, but it could be a good six months before it, there is any resolution, and I suspect there will be a compromise in the very short term. Thanks for listening. I've whittled on a little bit longer than I should have done. Um, I'm going to put you on hold and pass you back to Adrian, um, and he'll go through uh, the, the, the markets as, uh, as they are up to the close of this first uh, workshop this week. Thanks very much. Bye for now.